Hi, I'm Arjun from Wizards.exe. In this video, we're going to go over motor wiring. The first thing that we're going to go over is what's on the control hub and the expansion hub. These both have the same exact motor ports. So there's four motor ports here, and there's four motor ports here. One thing you may notice that's funny about them is the fact that there are actually two motor ports for each motor. There's one right here with two prongs, and there's another motor port directly under it, which is just like a sensor cable, which has the same port as a sensor. Now, this is for a reason, actually. So, there are two separate wires that go to a motor. The one with two prongs here is used for power. The one with four prongs, like a sensor cable, is used for the encoder. The encoder is essentially a rotation sensor for your motor. So we're going to start off with the one with f two prongs, and this is called a JST-VH connector. So you can see that on your HD hex motor and your core hex motor, you also have a JST-VH connector. Each of these motors comes with a 50 centimeter JST-VH motor, pow motor power cable. We're going to plug this into port zero. So I can plug in the JST-VH connector over here just by snapping it in, and I can do the same on the other side. You should feel it snap in once it actually plugs in. Now we're going to go over the, the second connector, which is the same that's used on our sensors. It's a 4-pin JST-PH cable, and it's used for the encoders. I'm going to plug it in, and one thing to note about this one is just like the motor power cable, it also can only go in one way, so you don't need to worry about it plugging in the opposite direction. Now you can see I've plugged in a motor cable, and you should feel a little bit of a, a snap once it goes in. In order to remove the motor power cables, you're going to need to push down on the little lever and then pull, as there is a little lock for, on these motor cables. Not doing so could damage the connector. I'm going to plug in the core hex motor just to show you how. You can see there's also a JST-VH connector right there, which I can plug in, and I can plug it in into the expansion hub. I can do the same for the encoder cable. Now you can see that I've plugged in both an HD hex motor and a core hex motor into the control hub and the expansion hub. The motor ports again on the control hub and expansion hub are the same motor ports. One thing that you should note is that it's a lot easier to plug in the motors from 0 to 3, as if you plug in a motor port in, in port 2 right now, then it's going to be a little bit hard to access port 1. One thing to note is that in the first global 2019 kit, there are additional motor power and sensor wires in the kit. There are four 30 centimeter ones, four 50 centimeter ones, and four 100 centimeter mo both motor power and encoder cables. This is useful for if your motor is either moving on a lift or is in a different place on your robot that's too far from the control hub or expansion hub. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.